Here's Glenn's protocol. Then they're going to provide kind of basic key functions for every single social applications you need to develop on their own. This is my full course strategy. So I only work my assets in Bitcoin and all the Oracle features related to Z7 categories. And if you want to deepen your understanding about my full course strategy, please check out my other video about my full course strategy. And here's my video. Link, okay? okay, today's Red's protocol matching category here, number one, DApps. Especially they're gonna provide decentralized social application platform. Okay. Then as usual, I'm gonna find the six and a five points to so stand for the pain points, products team, execution power, token economy, and hype cycle. And for each, I set the 5.0 point here, so the total score is 30.30. Then if you want to also deepen your understanding about my, how I'm going to analyze each point here, please check out my other video about my altcoin investment strategy. And here's my video link, okay? Then here is total score that reads score as of now, 25.5 points. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. From this perspective, I'm gonna recommend investment in Rent Protocol project. And from here, I'm gonna tell you the reasons, okay? Then let's start with here, pain point analysis. And there are mainly two pain points, and the first one, this one. Social is still the big white space in a blockchain metaverse, okay? Then let's start with here. First of all, we have to think about the high potential opportunity on metaverse economy. Then we may have two directions for the metaverse economy, centralized metaverse and decentralized metaverse. Centralized metaverse, every single of these tech giants control everything, right? Then blockchain metaverse, it's a decentralized one, so there is no central entity control everything. Then which one is much more beneficial for us? Is of course this one, decentralized blockchain metaverse. Why? Because once we're gonna focus on centralized metaverse, of course, these players such as Facebook, Google, they're gonna make money by advertising business. That is why they're going to use a lot of our privacy data even in a metaverse economy. Then if you want to avoid such rarity, we have to build decentralized metaverse. Okay? Then once we look at you know, these you know, metaverse economy, especially focus on Web 3.0 world, a lot of you know, high potential projects as alternative solutions to defeat Web 2.0 player, such as such web browsing, of course Google is a major player, Web browser provides decentralized privacy control web browser software, also the sun changes. E-commerce, we have Rooks Flare, BD. Video and live streaming, we have CRT TV. Remote walking, we have Blade Browser meeting solutions. But once we look at the social media here, of course, here's tech giants, Facebook here, but no major player yet in a virtual space. Because once we look at, you know, these steps category ranking in a social space. We have a couple of the social player here, but look at this in you know, a DA level in the seven days versions. Their DA size is pretty small, around 10K. Compared to the game category or DeFi category, much, much smaller. That is why still the social category blockchain space is completely big white space, right? Then pain point number two, NFT game might lead the social for blockchain metaverse. So the social, it's pretty big white space, but we can take multiple angles to realize blockchain metaverse social applications, right? Then on my analysis, game played a critical role here. Why? Because first of all, we need to pay attention to NFT. As we know, the market growth of NFT is amazing. For example, like 2020, November 14th, total daily transaction volume size is 141K. Almost exactly one year later, November 14th in 2021, total daily sales volume size is 133 million. And I had a 43X within just for one year. It's huge market growth. Then think about the next you know, market growth on the NFT space. Many people discussing about game will be the next frontier. All right? Then once we got the you know, existing game industry, actually we can find out a pretty unique 
market development these days. These are the most well-known smartphone mobile applications in the gaming category, Subway Surfer, Candy Crush Saga, Crush of Clans. The most of the key elements what I pay attention to here, DAU market size, Subway Surfer 20 million, Candy Crush Saga 21 million, Crush of Clans 17 million. These stats also tell us that how the game category itself provides kind of social experiences on the internet space. So every people got meet each other on a gaming space and build the relationships and connection there. So from that perspective, once some social applications combine these NFT elements, also the gamification elements here, might be able to build pretty scalable compared with social network applications to defeat Facebook. That's why I'm also paying attention to market developments on NFT space too from the social perspective, okay? Then number two, product analysis. First of all, Lens has not published their product yet. So no application yet. But they tell us about the, what kind of feature or product they are planning to build on their website. So here are the descriptions. Lens protocol is a user-owned open social graph that any application can plug into each application using Lens benefits that whole ecosystem, turning the zero-sum game into a collaborative one. Developer can focus on crafting an excellent experience for the, their user and leave the growth hacking to the protocol. All right, then here's another description about Lens protocol. Design into the key functions. Meet the profile, follow others, create and correct any publications, including posts, comments and millers and completely on chain. So it's a truly decentralized one. Unlike social media platform of the past, Lens Protocol and its content are powered by dynamic NFT script, giving the power and control over the content directly to the users, allowing for native content monetizations. From these descriptions, what we can imagine about their platform architecture design will be like this way. Here's Lens Protocol. Then they're gonna provide kind of basic key functions for every single social applications need to develop on their own, such as profile management, social graph, data NFT, or something like that. Once you look at the Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat, you see these are kind of minimal requirements to develop the scalable social applications, right? Then for the vast project, also they're gonna start it from Polygon. So it's a public event based one and DPoS model. Mainly because they're gonna focus on data and NFT. That's why they need a pretty cheaper, you know, bus platform to develop the applications. Then Lens protocol, just like a middleware, that is why on top of this, including Lens protocol, they can develop their own social dApps. So they are kind of like a middleware. Then one of my curiosity while thinking about the future of like Lens Protocol platform, I can think about it like this way. So for example, they can connect with, you know, these DeFi wallets such as Metamask or Trust wallets, because, you know, where others itself, kind of like a digital identity, then of course they can manage their NFT too. So which means that, you know, those transaction history on these, you know, wallet applications, we can just use like a social graph the relationships or depth of each relationships. Then by leveraging those data, of course, you know, Lens Protocol, probably they're gonna build their own social application too. This approach perfectly makes sense for me because, you know, Lens Protocol itself is led by Avid founding team. The Avid team is pretty good at growth hacking. So from this perspective, you know, they can test every single social application on their own by using this platform. Then, of course, this platform is a fully decentralized one. So, you know, a lot of social applications will grow up from here. So this platform strategy itself has pretty big potential. I like it, okay? Then next one, value approach analysis. So here's Lens, and of course, other major social applications such as Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Twitter. Then to compete with them, these are the key elements to differentiate 
from the existing social applications, such as new social UX, dynamic NFT, digital identity, privacy control, and DAO. Now, of course, those areas, REDS is a fast mover. But at the same time, I also pay attention to ENS, Ethereum Name Services, because here, digital identity and privacy control, that's also their edge. So in long term, what I'm thinking right now is whether REDS protocol will collaborate with ENS or they're going to compete each other. That's also one of the key elements. Think about the you know, pretty big white space in a social market and virtual space. Okay. And then number three, team analysis. So as we know, the REDS protocol led by RV team. So it's pretty smart and a great you know, team founding member here from the RV protocol, starting from Stani. Also, currently they have class 70 member in a global basis. Simply say, they have a great tractions with the success of Aave, so it's a great team, okay? The next one, execution power analysis. Again, Rens Protocol has not released their product yet. So think about the you know, execution capability of the Aave team itself. Of course, great reference is Aave traction itself, right? Then here's Aave and also their you know, major rival compound. Then let's compare the, you know, the TVL stats growth in the past two years. The TVL, as of April 2020, Aave was around 110 million. Compound is around 634 million. Six times difference. Aave was much smaller player than Compound at that moment here. But two years later, TVL, as of February 2022, Aave hit 13.55 million. Compound, 7.37 billion. Aave grows their TVL stats within one year, 117 times. Compound, 12 times. Aave now turned to be a number of player. The compound is now number third or fourth player in this, you know, this center learning category. So how their growth hacking capability of the Aave team itself is outstanding. Most powerful player on a decentralized daily marketplace category here. That's why it's a huge execution capability. This is great. Then number five, token economy analysis. So here's token economy design matrix, which I made at the major matching category of the Reds protocol. Of course, it's DAPS here, number one. Here's about the network effects. Of course, Lens protocol has not issued their token yet. We cannot analyze their token economy especially about network effects. But for a reference, I'm going to pick up the Rooks layer here, Rooks layer token. Now, why? Simply because Rooks layer are doing quite well to compete with OpenSea based on their token economy itself. So OpenSea cannot issue their tokens, but Rooks layer can manage their tokens. Then, especially Rooks layer team itself, leveraging their this, you know, green growth fire here, mainly it's about the DeFi like a liquidity mining solutions, any kind of incentive program by using the token itself. Then by leveraging this you know, green you know, growth engine here, they are competing quite well with OpenSea in this blue zone here, marketplace growth. Evidence is this one. They need to important competition between Rooksflayer and OpenSea. It's a February 2022. Look at these stats here. Rooksflayer has been still maintaining over 300 million on average daily transaction volume size here. OpenSea, around 150 million. Then why Rooksflayer can achieve this threshold level here? By leveraging DeFi solutions. So think about the Lens protocol, especially to compete with you know, other, other tech giants in a Web 2.0 world, mainly about the Facebook. These and Rooksflayer approach itself will be the quite effective solutions that is why, think about the benchmark itself. Of course, Facebook will be the major benchmark target for the Rens protocol, currently 70 billion. Then I do think that Rens protocol, of course, can defeat Facebook from the market cap perspective. But to realize this goal itself, I do think these dynamic NFT, also the token DeFi model, will be the key points. That's why that network effect model on the roof layer will be the great reference for the Rens protocol. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. Then about governance DAO, of course, very critical. 
because of to defeat Facebook, DAO will be a competitive advantage for them. That's why, you know, from the starting point, of course, we don't need a DAO for the Reds protocol, but in the near future, they must need this one. Then I don't have any kind of concern about the DAO movements on the Reds protocol because Aave itself made a huge success for the DAO building and management by our team itself. So I'm gonna see a huge potential about DAO developments in long term too, okay? Then number six, half cycle analysis. So as usual, this is a Gartner half cycle analysis, blockchain technology 2021 versions, and a major matching category for REST protocol, starting from the DAPS, NFT, Decentralized Web, also Decentralized Identity, and an authenticated provenance. Especially about Decentralized Identity, and authentic provenance related to their social graph. Because once we look at the entire internet space, web 2.0 world, Google ID, Facebook ID, plays a critical role here. Then we need a decentralized versions of these solutions in long term. Then from that perspective, Lens protocol also plays a critical role here too. Then of course, you know, these three elements, NFT, decentralized web, and dApps, all the time pretty popular item on the broader space. So they can gain pretty strong market momentum here. Then additionally, of course, metaverse market momentum. Gartner App Cycle has not supported you know, this team yet, but of course, Rens Protocol is one of these categories here, so they can leverage this market momentum too, which is great for them. Yeah. Then number five, total swap dates. About pain point without any questions, 5.0. Simply say, social is still big, white space on the blockchain space, so 5.0. Product, 3.5. Simply say, they have not released their product yet. But I can imagine that what kind of product they are trying to build, it's a middleware approach. It's, I think it's good, but still it's potential level, so 3.5. Team level, 4.0. It's great team, but about the social application development stuff, it's their first prior. So still potential relations, 4.0. The next one, execution power, 5.0. As they can already prove on the other instructions, their execution capability, especially gross hacking capability is pretty high. So without any questions, I said the 5.0 here, okay? The token economy, 3.5. Simply say, they have not issued their token yet. So it's potential liberation, 3.5. Hype cycle, 4.5. NFT, decentralized web, DApps, it's pretty strong market momentum. Also, this identity and authentic provenance has huge potential, then metaverse. So they can gain pretty strong market momentum all the time, so 4.5, okay? So the total score is 25.5 points. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm gonna recommend investment in Rens protocol tokens. I have a pretty big expectation for the next step or next progress on the Rens protocol. So let's pay attention to any kind of their next updates on their project, okay? Then if you got any kind of questions related to with this video or any video that I make, please think about to join my premium membership program, live time Q&A sessions. Then every week, I'm gonna have a live Q&A session with my member. Then there, I can answer you any kind of questions related to with this video or any other video that I make. Then of course, I knew you visit. So you can post your question in advance. Then during the live Q&A sessions, I'm gonna answer your questions. Then later, you can check out my recorded video. Then for my detail, please check out my video. And here's my video link, okay? So that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for educational purpose. So we're not gonna get into any kind of sustainable investment outcome with this video or this video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will practically help you guys understand about high potential about crypto blockchain space. So I'm gonna make a lot of this video in crypto blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.